<laughs> oh my god. What did I just make? <laughs> oh my god, no. What's up, Scrubs? BG Mike here, and welcome to Worlds. Okay, it's not actually called Worlds. This is probably the worst menu I've ever seen in my life. The game's actually called Worlds History Simulator. Now, I know that sounds boring as crap, but just wait until you see what we can do in this game. But before that, I should probably address the elephant in the room, and it's probably because you can't see my face. Well, there's a reason for that. Hello. <laughs> The elephant that's right here. Why are you the way that you are? So, <laughs> I'm suffocating in this. <laughs> so, like, I don't know how Kakashi from Naruto does this because you can't hear me. So, I literally went to the mall today to go buy a mask because I don't want to show my face for at least like a few days because of a health concern. <laughs> don't worry. I'm totally fine. I just want to let, I want to let you guys know I'm totally fine. It's just that I don't want to show my face. That's all you need to know. So for, for maybe today only or like two days, you're not going to see my face. But what you can do is scrub scribe. Hey! But what you can do is scrub scribe today. I'd really appreciate that you just hit oh, that subscribe button and you become this thing. Don't worry. Uh, it's a little piece of lettuce and uh, it's this is the opportunity of a lifetime. I'm telling you right now So because I've been playing a lot of uh, simulators lately and I've had a ton of fun doing it I thought we'd play this one. It actually looked really interesting Let me tell you why in this game you can literally edit the world and simulate entire Civilization you can change everything about the world. Okay, and I know it just it looks like a map like I would never play this game in my life but until I seen what you can do in the game. Oh boy, I just had to. What, what is that? You can create more land. Do you realize the possibilities that we have? I mean, look at her. She's a beauty. She's a beauty so far. So you can actually look around, but uh, oh, that's the dark side of the moon. This is pretty. Freaking space is cool, dude. And there's that thing. I just created this. Wow. Because I'm becoming a god in this entire world. We're going to create a world that, um, well, to keep it brief, is full of anime. In case you forgot how I look, this is a picture of me. I'll put it right here. Thanks, Gonsi. I know what you're asking. Can you make people's lives uh, absolutely miserable? And I'll answer that for you. Well, here's the world temperature. Let's set this to about... <laughs> I am not used to Celsius, but I, I'm imagining that's very, very hot. How, how hot is 63 degrees Celsius? Okay, so that's 145 degrees. That's... Very, that's pretty hot. Not as hot as I would probably like to make it, but that's still pretty dang hot. Like, I don't think, I don't think it ever gets that high ever. <laughs> like, ever, ever. Here's the highest temperature recorded on Earth. 134. Dang. That, that was hot. <laughs> oh, that's hot. That's hot. 1913. So imagine if the world was always like that. Lots of rain. That That's a lot of meters. Temperature brush? Oh, this is, uh, why did you give me this power? We're just gonna make everything red, all right? Haven't you always wanted to know, can humans survive a really absolutely horrible world? I mean, some would say it's horrible already, but come on, you got, got be positive. We gotta be positive in this world. Yes, I'm just dooming everyone. Right now. So this is the rainfall brush. As you can see, there's already a ton of rainfall. It's gonna make sense. Okay, what does our world look like right now? Oh my god. Oh no, okay. It doesn't really look like that. This is what it really looks like. Alright, so I haven't figured out how to erase just yet. But now that we increased all those temperatures, let's see how well... Uh, but now that we finally increased those temperatures and the rainfall to uh, complete maximum, let's just see how things go. You know... Out of curiosity, I think anyone would want to know. Start simulation, let's do it. Okay, here we go. Oh, so we can even start with the popular- What if we start with two people? This is gonna be Adam and Eve, okay? It's fine if you don't believe in that. I just wanna start with two people. I hope they're a guy and a girl, because I can't pick. Oh my god, we can put them in a red- <laughs> We can put them in a random location. Oh my god, they got busy fast. <laughs> Boat making discover, sailing discover. Oh, wow! They're really getting along, aren't they? What year is this? What years? That's a lot of years. That's a lot of damage. Years. Tribalism. Okay, what is what is this? Oh, that's a tribe. Wow, they're forming tribes now. Well, did you look at that? I mean, we get to witness civilization. Well, would you just look at that? We just get to witness civilization just starting to form. Isn't that great? Well, this is obviously a, t a test just to see how this works. Uh, I mean, do we get to see the end? What happens in the end? Oh, they're fighting. <laughs> There's a lot of tribes taking over. I think, 
Oh god, okay. This is interesting. Really? Friend. What? It is. It's interesting. <laughs> oh, you, you, we haven't even got to the good part. You just wait. But you can guide faction? I don't know what any of this means. The elders have suggested that perhaps the brr tribe has been isolated and we should attempt to be more receptive to influence uh, from our neighbors. What happens if we promote openness? I just don't know what's going on. Okay, well, this is all great and all, but let me show you the, 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 the butter of this game. <laughs> That's not a phrase at all, is it? The bread and butter. Yeah, that's it. With a quick Google search. Um, let's see. Anime wafu. You know what? Let's keep it simple. Let's just put that there. I think I'm supposed to delete this. I don't know what I'm doing, but this is, this is gonna work. I just know it. So now, we gotta cancel. We gotta... Oh, <laughs> uh, yes. Load it. <laughs> oh my god. What did I just make? <laughs> oh my god, no. Please, uh, Senpai Moon. Like, what do you, what do you, what is she gonna do? It's the Yandere Earth. Now, this is my kind of Earth right here. Uh, this is stupid. I didn't, I didn't know how this was gonna come out at all. Let's start the simulation. What happens if we put one? Add initial population group one, and we'll select location. It's gonna start in her eye. Oh wait, that's ocean apparently. That <laughs> the game made that ocean. Okay, so we gotta start. I don't know. We'll start on her nose. That's where civilization starts. All right, so the game didn't like that. That's fine. Okay, I think what we need to do is try another picture, not a PNG. That was probably the problem. Okay, so don't judge me. This is gonna be the best Earth ever. All right? It's beautiful. <laughs> oh, it's like a gigantic, like, continent and just, like, little bits of ocean. I love it so much. I like how we have, like, some mountains and, and greenery over here. What God has created is good. Oh, wow. Okay, this time we're gonna make it extremely cold. Yes, let's try that. Oh, wow. That's, that's something that's different. Oh, it's nothing but snow. <laughs> oh, wow. Okay, well, that'll do it. Okay, we're just adjusting here. Okay, a little more nor- What's happened here? What have I done? I don't- I think I did something bad. So if we bring the sea level all the way up, uh... Oh, wow. Okay. <laughs> uh, the whole world's underwater. The only thing we have is, like, the freaking North and South Pole. Alright, I'm getting a little freaked out by this. I don't know about you guys. But anyway, let's, uh, generate it. Again, we have <laughs> lots of rainfall. Uh, maybe too much rainfall. What happens if there's no rainfall? Oh, it's dry. <laughs> I'm gonna- I'm gonna start some population over here. And I'm gonna start some over here as well. Can I do that? Oh, they're spreading. I feel like they're gonna start fighting between- Like, they're gonna start inhabiting both hands and they're just gonna fight. Okay? Okay, so a lot of stuff is already happening. But I just- I really want to see where this world's gonna go. Oh my god, it's so cursed. It's so cursed. It looks freaking crazy. So they're all kind of gathering over here. Oh my god. This is so much- Wow. Life is thriving on Natsuki. Okay, and I guess now, uh, we wait. I really want to see what happens. Can we just end the world? I think this is year three million? Is that what that says? Okay, I'm not exactly sure what's happening here. Can, can you please stop? Okay, they're actually s <laughs> What the heck? They're slowly starting to migrate to her hair. And the crazy part about it is their peak. Her hair is peak. I know, you may not have known that. But her hair is actually peak. That's kind of crazy. Imagine if they just started feeling uh, like her space. Uh, imagine if they actually started changing her like to the colors of like what she's supposed to be. You know what I mean? The poor humans have no idea what planet I've created. They're just kind of going with it. You know, I think everyone on earth is just like a Natsuki fanboy and fangirl. <laughs> and so everything is going to be them just basically going to war over uh, who, you know, who likes her more. I don't really know. I just spawned uh, a bunch of weebs. That's what I've done. I, I don't know who these this tribe belongs to uh, inhabits in a selected cell this is disorganized bands <laughs> it just looks stupid so for some odd reason the, all the activities away from natsuki maybe they want to protect her and that's why they're not climbing on her or maybe the elevation in this area is just super super high i don't really know i don't know who all these people are i don't know what it is it's disorganized bands so i'm guessing they're just lone travelers trying to get to Natsuki's hair. They're like, we really need to fill all that in. But here's the tribes here. As you can see, it's just so interesting to actually see them fighting for the waifu. <laughs> this is the opic. Like, imagine if the world actually looked like this. It's like, one day I want to go to Natsuki's knuckle. <laughs> what I want to know is how, I mean, I, it's going to sound bad and I don't mean for it too, but I want to know is why is no one living in this area? They're like, that's sacred areas. You know, and they don't even go on her face at all. They just kind of started in her hair, uh, these random people who have no tribe. Did I do it wrong? 
Maybe I did it wrong. Got a few thousand people uh, living on Natsuki's chin. This is very interesting. I know it's very interesting. I don't worry. We're going to do some creative things with this. All right. We're going to start from scratch and we're going to start drawing some things. You're going to love this, guys. All right. Now we're going <laughs> to... Everything is... I had to put the entire earth underwater for this. But what we're going to do is... Oh, this is going to be great. This is really going to work out okay okay i've already messed up we're gonna build an entire civilization of weeps how am i gonna do that you ask well you just wait till i'm done it would be abs it would be kind of great oh <laughs> it it's kind of coming together it's not quite here yet it would be great if i couldn't freak if i could see where i was uh, actually putting things see this is what happens when you can't see exactly what the heck you're doing <laughs> Oh, that's not coming out good. This is gonna be interesting because there's not gonna be very much land for people to inhibit like there was before. So I'm really curious to see how their tribes are gonna be started now and how that's gonna all work. I literally can't put it. Can you move these? There's no controls. Can I move this? Oh my god. Yes, I can. How long have I been able to do that? Well, that really makes things a lot easier. Wow, this is... <laughs> Oh my god, it looks like a baseball. <laughs> oh, that's not what I was trying to go for at all. I guess if we want to if we want to see it on the earth, we gotta like make it a lot smaller. <laughs> Don't go to this planet. This one's weird. Says the aliens that are going through space right now. Did I make nothing but mountains? Like honestly, I don't exactly know. I think I made everything too tall. Well, I guess I kinda had to, considering, you know, I kind of drained everything or put too much water everywhere. You know what? Screw it. Let's try this. L what, what happened? All right, let's, let's go ahead and start this simulation. Again, we're going to go with one. I don't know how that works. I guess it's a group of people. We're going to start them here. How did they already get over here? What's happening? Oh, because sailing was discovered. <laughs> well, <laughs> they had to learn real fast because there's like nothing but water. There's like no tribes because there can't be. <laughs> there's like only two people on each island, you know? I don't know how this is going to work. <laughs> you can hear them all. <laughs> oh, we have a first tribe here on the W. Uh -huh, uh -uh. <laughs> it translates to the tribe of the moon grassland. Sure, whatever. If that's what you want to call it. So I started a new like world and it didn't put anything on there. It was just like random. Okay, so we can... Okay, I like this because we can create anything we wanted. That's what I kind of wanted. I wanted a blank canvas. I don't know why there's not an option just to have a blank canvas. You know what I mean? So yeah, okay. Here we go. Here we go. <laughs> oh, that's hot. <laughs> it's not it's literally not what i was thinking of i don't know what i'm st i'm so stupid you know what we just need to make the world a happier place <laughs> come on if you are traveling through space because you're an alien you, you see this planet be like i want to go there except you wouldn't have much to explore because you literally have three islands but at least it's happy I mean, you'd think you would be happy. You would go there, but then you'd be uh, very disappointed because it's very hot there because I made it that way because I'm horrible. I wish I wish the game gave you more information to, that made like more sense to a, a person of my uh, IQ uh, because like it's really confusing, but I think I'm making this extremely hot. Yeah, maybe you wouldn't want to go there so much now. Huh? <laughs> Looks can be deceiving, I tell you what. Oh, I, I melted all the ice. Any ice that was... Okay, I see. I could have just done that with Natsuki. Ah, it's making sense now. All right, well, let's generate this and see what happens. I'm going to start with a very, very low population of one. And we're going to select a, a location on the eyeball. Oh, God. What the heck? <laughs> what did I just say? <laughs> I think they're burning. <laughs> I don't know. That spreads so fast. They, they are very quick to, you know, find boats and all that and make them. You would think the heat would, like, worry them, but they're all fine with it. Heat's no big problem. So... For some reason, they uh, add Nazubako got over here on this eyeball, but they, like no one's on this eyeball. Like this little tribe, very very small tribe, and they're cool. They're living happily with these random people, but this the smiley face is where the party's at, boys, boys and girls. This tribe right here is the children from the flame woods. It's it because everything is so freaking hot. Tribe of the fire savannas. I like how we're having a theme. It's just extremely hot on this smiley face earth. Oh my god. Adna Zubakwo is really taking over this eyeball. Will they take over everything else? I'm so happy. Oh, okay, so red's completely taken over this. This is a very interesting. I like this a little better. I'm a little interested in like what do they actually have on these like things? Like, do they have like the resources they need? Are they they're not dying? It looks like they're increasing at a pretty steady rate. So well it actually is going up and down. I don't know. I, I it's probably has something to do with the temperature of the world that I set it at, but whatever. We can actually guide this faction. Um, 
<laughs> 100% influence. Yeah, they've taken over everything. I just don't want. What do they got against? What do they got against this little two little patches of land right here? Is what I don't get. It's it's honestly too bad that we can't like edit while we go. That way I can just add a giant mountain in the middle of this and like you know just devastate everyone. <laughs> I mean the plus side about this all is like like if you you can check these little preferences to see like you know what they what they do. Authority. They just wanted to take over their own things. I mean, <laughs> once they took over each one, like you know everyone's like really happy. Which is very ironic, considering how happy this planet is. This is how you solve every world's problems. You just make the world a happy face. That's like so deep, you know? So I don't know if this is what this is doing, but I think we can actually erase the ocean. If we erase, can we just erase the entire planet? Just like this ball of black and nothing else? I just want to know, what what are they, what are they, what can they do with no ocean or anything? Th that is depressing. That's kind of depressing right there. Oh, <laughs> so I, I started the world with nothing, and as you can see, there is nothing. I, who would have thought that would have happened? Okay, so the game crashed. You can't do that. You know what we really need? We need some, some... <laughs> this is a quality world. I like this. I like this a lot. <clears throat> we gotta adjust the sea levels just a little bit, though. I want to get Keanu Reeves inside as the earth. You know what I mean? There we go. That's what I'm talking about. Oh, that's kind of terrifying a little bit. Ah! <laughs> what happened to his face? How did this happen? I call this the United States of Reeves. It's breathtaking. Who wants to smash like if you'd like to live on the United States of Reeves? What is happening? Wait, wait, we gotta, we gotta see it. Oh, <laughs> that looks freaking weird. What? What? Okay, well, I guess I, I, why am I surprised that this happened? Now, this is truly a, a, a planet that asserts dominance. <gasps> oh, I know what I need to do next. I know what I need to do next. They're all just down here. What happened? Oh, you, they haven't discovered anything yet. You just wait till they discover this beautiful luscious hair over here. Uh, well, the ocean, but it's face. You know what I mean? All right, this is the most boring. There's like no tribes at all. They're just all stupid. They are not breathtaking. They're doing Keanu Reeves like some very like huge injustices right now. They don't even, they're not even trying to go over there. I don't, they're just all stuck over here for some reason. I have one last thing I must try. I mean, you knew at some point I was going to do this, right? I mean, I hope you did. Oh my God. What did I just make? What did I make? Oh my God. What did I make? Hey baby oh. girl. <laughs> what, did, what did I do? I made the whole world desert on accident. Now that's just cute. Sure. Did it come out like I kind of wanted it to? No, not really, but I mean <laughs> When you come say when you come look at this planet needs help This is actually big brain. This is this is some high IQ stuff here earth chan as earth But it's sick you humans better be nice to her. You understand me? She's been through it enough. Okay. You know what? I don't even I don't even like these humans being on earth chan anyway get off <laughs> Get off of her. She's like, help. Oh, yeah, if Earth Channel looked like this, I bet you'd start recycling, huh? Huh, y'all, you all be, should be ashamed of yourself now. Look at her. She's got a hospital thing, and <laughs> this literally makes no sense. <laughs> this is a strange planet. It's just the aliens. They're like, what are they doing over here? You know what I mean? Today, Scrub of the Day goes to... The Doggo Master. This video was something very new for me. I hope you all enjoyed it, okay? And rest in peace, Ruler, once again. <laughs> no, but really, though, I like trying out these new games, and uh, it's really fun for me. So I hope you guys smash like if you enjoy me doing new stuff. All right, bye-bye. <laughs>